Hey, Spider Game, welcome back to another video. And today, oh, let's just focus this a little bit. So, um, I am reviewing my cycle Sid. Sorry for the absence, I was just doing some midterms uh, at school this week. So, uh, yeah, um, I thought it'd be a good time to make this um, figure review. Uh, now, not a lot of people know, maybe you know about this figure and it was made. I, I like it. It's personally to me worth your money because it's the only Psycho Sid figure I think Mattel's ever made. And it's pretty good. Um, you know, his height is pretty nice and, uh, I like his accessory or accessories if you'll include his really big elbow pad. Um, but it's really good. Definitely, uh, worth a recommendation. Of getting, I'm also kind of working on getting the uh, defining moments. Uh, Chris Jericho that came out not too too long ago, and uh, it came with two belts: the WWF title and the World Heavyweight Championship, or the Big Gold Belt, which I really want. That Big Gold Belt. I have it, it's just in the MWO Wolfpack form, so it has the writing on it, so I just want one without the writing on it, um, so I can make a lot of, like, sets and stuff out of it, I can put him with it, I can put Goldberg, Triple H, Batista, um, all sorts of guys can, you know, hold the title, um, but he does not come with this title, Stone Cold Steve Austin Defining Moment did, uh, the one in ring gear, not the one with those Hunter wearing, where he sprayed a bunch of beer at people, um, Vince McMahon and them, but I, it, as you know, I like to make little sets, so I thought, well, let's just put the Ministry of Darkness Undertaker in there, and yeah, I don't know, I like it, it's really kind of cool, I, I don't know, I just try to find someone that kind of fits the time period, that would make sense. Um, so it's kind of focusing on one or the other because there's a good amount of spacing between them. So I'm just going to take out this Ministry of Darkness Undertaker. Uh, I also made a review on him. So, yeah, go and check that out. And, yeah, I think this figure is honestly, it's really great. Um, I think it's, again, it's definitely worth your money. Um, you don't have to get it necessarily for your collection, but if you want to make some good moments out of it, or his funny promo where he just completely screwed up, you could do that. Um, you know, I mean, I'm not telling you to, but yeah, I don't know. I, I think this figure's great. Um, some, a quick little primetime segment in here. Um, I, I ordered the entrance great Jeff Hardy yesterday, which I was really excited about, so... Um, and it's supposed to come very soon, uh, Sunday, Monday the latest, Saturday is like the date should be coming, cause we ordered it Wednesday, so, it's Thursday, Friday, Saturday, that'd be about three day shipping, and that's what they did for my Kevin Nash figure, and when, uh, I got something for Christmas, they did about, uh, really quick shipping, so yeah, go on ringside. I also used... Bread Alive's, um, discount code LIVE, uh, which was really helpful, and I actually commented on something of his, and I was like, hey, I used your discount code, so, um, yeah, use LIVE if you want, a uh, little plug to you, Brett, but I think this figure is definitely worth it, um, accessories, you already saw them, it's this, uh, jacket that, or vest that he usually wears, um, Something that kind of bothers me is his it's a little silver, um, but, I don't know, it's manageable. Uh, the rest of it looks nice. There's really not much paint detail in it. It's just this, and, I don't know, maybe they could put that chain in silver and stuff. But, yeah, it's really nice. And then he has this really big, um, what's it called? Uh, big elbow pad, which I've been wanting to get one for my... Undertaker, uh, let's see if I can find him, where is he, okay, here he is, uh, this Undertaker, because when he versed, um, Bray Wyatt, he actually was wearing an elbow pad, uh, about, you know, a big one too, so I wanna, 
uh, use one. I have more than enough if I really wanted to because I don't use this Ministry of Darkness to find a moment's Undertaker a lot. So I probably just take one of his elbow pads or if I really want to. Like one time I just used his elbow pad real quick. So yeah, I don't know. I'm not 100% set on it. Um, I don't know. I'll, I'll, maybe I will. Maybe. But it, it doesn't fit as well when it, uh, Undertaker's hand goes in the jacket. But we're not about that. So, um, everything's basically used parts. Except this head. And, uh, My Dang Toys actually got a custom of himself. And it was a... I kind of realized it was actually this Psycho Sid head. They just took off the hair, painted the eyebrows, I think, um, and added more uh, hairstyle, a good uh, resemblance of my dang toys uh, hairstyle. So, yeah. It's really nice. I like it. It's definitely, again, worth your collection. Now, articulation-wise, it works really good. Uh, the knees kind of, I don't know, for some reason, I just like the, uh, legs kind of be lined up at the muscle joints there, so it looks more normal, but, uh, his, like, knees weren't once when I do that, but it's fine, uh, you know, probably you can just switch up the knee pad a little bit, and it'll look a little bit more normal, so, yeah, I, I really like this figure, um, now, as you can see from what they used to add height were these kind of-ish. The, definitely the boots. Uh, the legs, yeah, they're pretty big. And then here, and then the head, obviously. Uh, so, I don't know how tall the figure said that he was. Um, I know when he versed Heath Slater very later on, uh, like a couple years ago, he was like 6'9", it said. And I feel like he... I don't know, maybe he was a little taller because WWE always likes to make their heights different. Uh, just for ego purposes and stuff. Like Kane, he's actually not 7 foot. Or no, sorry, Big Show. He's actually not 7 foot, he's 6'11", six, 6'10", six, so. And Undertaker actually has his real height, it's actually 6'10". And as you can see here, this figure, this Undertaker, I have... Uh, compared it to many other figures is, you know, very good in its height. But, when you take this Psycho Sid, you take him, uh, there, I don't know if you can see that. The Psycho Sid's bigger. So, yeah. Um... I don't know if he used to be bigger. I'm going to have to do some research on that. It's probably when I make my next video. That'll probably be the primetime segment, I'm thinking. I'm sorry if this was not a really good review to you. Um, this is just how I like to do my reviews. Because I don't personally think you need to show your articulation when you do basically all of your figure reviews on that specific, uh, specific figure. And... Yeah, I don't know. Just tell me, guys, if you really want to. I'll show you it. I have no problem with it. I'm just... I don't think it's really needed. Um, but let's end this video off with a power bomb. Huh, who's useless and super spawn? Oh, I have one. I'm sorry to all you fans of this person out here, but, uh... Sin Cara! Power bomb! What is he doing? Oh, my God! He's doing it! JR, oh my god, oh my god! Look at this! Look at this! Oh my god! He's gonna do the power bomb! Oh! I only keep titles for about one month and then I give them away! But, um, yeah, I really, if you didn't know, I am. I'm not a huge Psycho Set fan. I like him though. Um, a lot of people make fun of him because of his. Big mess up where he said, and I have half the brains that you do. Unless he actually meant that because he probably honestly did screwing it up like that. Um, but yeah, guys, that was the review. Make sure you like and subscribe. Oh, and, and um, yeah, I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace.